These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? To me, you scuffs. Here's a little something for ya! Got all I need! Uh-oh. What's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it.
Perhaps my focus can help me. These look like vanguard weapons. Those rocks, they're shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. There's no blood on them. Ursus men didn't fight back. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but it must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far your theories are better than other people's facts. Alright. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it, on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. 
I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursus face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. <laughs>